Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and this video I'm going to show you guys how to add in tables in Kexi. So what tables are allow you to do is to basically um, import some data into the database. So basically if you want to um, import some information about the customer, then we need to create a new table and in that table will contain the customer's um, information, such as a customer ID, which will be the identifier of a table and there will be another one called customer name, customer phone number, email address, and there will be their date of birth, a gender, if they're trans, if they are male or female or whatever, because there's thousands of gender, <laughs> and um, there are going to be like customer photo as well. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to do for customer tables, just to add in some customer's information. And that, what we will be doing is going to be adding in some in a, a new table, which would be about for order. So we're going to have a customer ID, um, so that way we can link for order table with a customer um, table so that way for order table will contain for customers information so that we can link it all up together and on for order um, Table it will include like stuff like what's the product they are doing and when it's going to be delivered and basically um, how many item how many um, How many times they have ordered for item because you can order an item more than one so we can order like five of of the same item so for example there's like a raspberry pi pico being sold i can buy five raspberry pi picos and the five should be delivered to me on the day, same day so this is what i mean by um being able to buy for product more than one time okay let's get started right now shall we so what i will do is i'm going to click onto the table right over here um this will basically allow me to be able to add in some information about the customer because I'll be doing for customer first. And now guys see, guys see this um, few options. So table, we can obviously clear table content, so it's gonna delete everything within this table, which is something I don't recommend you guys to do, but we can obviously do that if we truly wanted to. Um, obviously we can switch to data mode, but I can't yet um, because you have nothing inside um, of, this, of this design. So if you click onto it, it's gonna show up this error because table design is empty. And to be able to access it, there needs to be some form of content in there. And now, guys, what's it safe? All safe does is obviously save the table. And now, primary key, so I'll be able to give it an identifier, um, which is a primary key. So, this is a tool which allows you to give uh, um, the table an identifier. Okay, so now I'm going to go through um, what these um, three options mean. So, field name is just giving for field a name, such as customer ID, customer name, and blah, 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 the phone number. And data type is what type of data it is. So for example, if it was like a full name, such as customer full name, then it'd be a text data type because it'd be text, you need to write down a text. Um, but if it was something like a phone number, then it would be a number because a phone number is a number. And if it was day above, then it'd be set as day and time. And if it was um, something like a photo we want to add in, add in, such as the photo ID, then a guys will need to do object, which objects allows you to import a image into the database. Okay, and comments allows you to add in some comments about the two options over here, such as a field name and data type. So for example, we can say this is the primary key. And anything we put in here will not affect the database at all. The only two options that will affect a database is a fill name and data type. Um, and we don't need to fill in the comments if we don't want to, but you guys will have to fill in the fill name and the data type, as these will allow you to basically import some data to the database. Okay, what I will do now is that now I'm going to give the fill name a name for our first row. So what I will do is give this one customer ID. And now, once I have done customer ID, what I can now do is go to data type, click onto this down arrow right over here, and now select the option, and that option is integer number. And now I can go ahead and set up as a primary key. Okay, now let me do customer, customer name, and now this one will be a text, so text is fine. And now what I can now do is do customer um, phone number. Actually, I want to do the gender first. So customer um, gender. I'll keep it as a text. 
and now I'm going to go on to doing the customer um, phone number phone number which I want this one to be a um, integer number because that will be for phone number so it needs to be a number and now I'm going to go off to do the customer email address and now I'm going to set this one as being the um, as being text and now I'm going to go and do two more the two of them will be the customer customer um, cost armor photo so we can show like a photo of their face or something if they want to do that and now if we click back onto text click on the down arrow now there should be an option to select object select of object and now what I will do is now do customer date of birth and now for this option and what you guys want to do is go back to the down arrow click on today and time and that will allow you to be able to add in the customer um, date of birth um, and now for the last one what we will do hold on let me fix this mistake good I fixed it okay now what I will do for the last part is add in for order ID so that way we can link this one to another table so now I'm going to call this one order ID okay so what's I've done that we guys can now go back to text and I'll set this one as being integer number okay once that is now done what you guys can now do is control S and that will allow you to basically um, save the table so now I'm going to call this one customer customer table once it has been saved once you um, enter a new name click on to save and that should save the table as you guys can see and now guys you may be wondering hmm John I know this is a design um, but how do I add in new content to the data base um, all you guys see you do is click onto the data over here and as you guys can see this is something that we guys should be able to see let's start filling this in shall we now okay so customer name so I'm going to call this one Jonathan Stillman I'm going to do like gender so my gender is um, male um, customer phone number I'm going to give this one a random phone number and our customer email address I'm going to do like stead um, man john 65 at lol.com and I'm going to give this one a customer photo so from here click of here click on to insert from file and I'll go to um, PNG and I'm going to click on to tux flag and as you guys can see we can see this um, penguin that's from Linux on the American flag because America is a great country and I'll go to customer date of birth and then from here we guys will be able to put in date of birth so for example 13th of August 2003 and now don't worry about order ID because it's going to be linked up to another table and I'll go back to the customer name and now this will be our second one so this one will be page um, page um, page female because that's her name her second name is female um, customer gender she's a female um, female and her phone number will be this and I'm gonna give her um, that as her email address and now we can get for our customer photo so insert from file and I'm gonna go and save it as a PNG and now I'm gonna go to images.png and this is a random image and now what I will do is now set this one as 34 no it can't be 34, 12, 0, 9 and it can be 2003 okay so now I'm going to do one more for the customer table I'm going to call this one um, Joe Biden Biden he is customer, I, customer gender he's a male and now this is his phone number and now his name his email address will be Joe Biden at USA dot com 
And now what you guys can now do is go to customer photo and now select an image frame. So I'm gonna go to PNG and now I'm gonna select like random image where positive for example and this allows me to be able to add in a new customer photo and now from here I can give him like a date so for example I'm gonna see he was born on the 1st of, of um, January in 1990 actually 1901 he was born on okay so right now what you have done was that we have added in free, con free, um, free information on the customer name so basically free data for the customer now if we try to add a new um, new customers information such as if we do go to customer name set this one as Harry and now we can go on and move on with the life without importing any other data but some companies want to have all of the data um, and we will need to change this and we need to allow the people to have to put in for data that's that the company wants them to add such as their customer agenda and their phone number and the email address um, so that way um, if we do not um, put in for customer agenda then it should be able to display an error and force the user to put down that data okay to do that all guys you do is click onto design and then once on design click onto the customer name obviously what you guys will need to do is go to required and press onto yes so this will be required so that way we guys have to put down for customer name for the customer agenda, do the same, required, yes. Go to the custom email, do required, yes. Go to customer photo, that is not required. Date of birth, and that is required. And that should be all done. Now you guys can go back to data. We're saving change for existing design is now required. Do you want to save the design now? Um, save design and delete table data. Okay, so deleted my table there because I made some changes. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Um, customer name. So I'm going to give this one Jonathan Stedman. And I'm going to give this one a new gender, which is going to be male. Um, now I'm going to give him like a phone number. But if I try to reject this option, then you guys will see record is certain failed. Please um, correct data in this record or use the cancel record, record changes function. So we guys will have to put down the customer email address. So yeah, so it does work completely fine. So now I'm going to do this one as Denman, lol dot um, com. Now I'll do customer photo. So I'm going to go and select a photo. So I'm going to go to PNG and now I'm going to select the tux flag and customer date of birth. I'm going to do this one as 13 from 08 and now I'll do 2003. And I'm going to do um, page lol. I'm going to say her name, her, she, her gender is female, and now I'm going to give her a random phone number. Now I'm going to do page law at gmail.com. And now we can skip a customer photo. We can give them 12, 08, 2001. And now we can do another one called Joe Biden. We can say he's a female, and we can give her a random phone number. Now do Joe Biden at gmail.com. And now we don't need to worry about the customer photo and we can obviously give him a date of birth. Okay, so we have added in free customers into the database. Now do control S and what that should allow us to do is save the information. Click onto this X right over here. If you want to go back to it, we should see an option called tables. Just click onto customers table and you should see it opened. Okay, so to create a new table, what you guys want to do is click onto the table over here. Okay, once you have done that, what you guys want to do is import order ID. And this will be linking up to the customer. Um, so go to the integer number. Set this one as a primary key and now we can start filling this out so order id and now once you have done order id now we can start filling in some information that the order table would have so i'll choose product name and now we can do um number of products and then from here what you guys will be able to do is um 
put down number of products um, what else because we have product name and then delivery date um, and that one can be set up as day and time and we guys may as well um, add in the customer ID as well um, which we'll do right now so this one can be saved as customer ID and that one will be called into car number Okay, that all seems right um, so go back to product name press on to required so that way we guys will have to add this information in go to number of products um, required yes go to with delivery date that is not required and for custom ID that is also not required okay so once I've done that do control s and now I need to give it a name so what I will do is give it an order order name order name save now go to data and then from here there should be a product name so I'm going to go this one um, Ras um, Berry Pi 400 number of products he's going to be buying 100 products of these and the delivery date will be for 12 so 8 of 2005 and then we can add in a customer ID as one okay so once I've done that we can now move on and this one will be um, will be for raspberry pi pico w and then from here we can do like 1000 like that many and for delivery date will be for 10th so 2 and then we can do 1985 and then once you have done that you can give it as number 2 I think this one is from page <laughs> okay so now let's do one for Joe Biden now let's put down skirt because he wants to buy a skirt and then we can do a number of products we can do 200 and now for delivery date for him will be for 10 and then we can do like um, for 12 and then we can do 2023 and now custom ID three. so now as you guys can see um, and this is what we have done so far um, yeah this seems good doesn't it and if I try to delete this then it will tell me that I have to put this in right hold on let's go out just add in a product name and then yeah so this does seem like it's working completely fine as it did save um, for free of the data I'm going to go back there and see if this one is a skirt um, if you want to delete a row because I accidentally added one in just go to from number four and now click on to delete and then go back um, I'm not that. yeah okay I'm gonna set this one as four now I'm gonna go here delete record and that should basically allow me to delete number four now go to control s and this should save it now click on to the x bar and now click on to the x bar again and if you want to go back to the order um, table again just click on to order name I don't know why I called it that but it's named that and now as you guys can see um, our order information is now saved and for next episode, what I will do is link the customer, customer table to the order name. So we're going to go to queries and we're going to be doing that within this tool. Okay, I just want to say thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, put, please put a like and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.